What's going on smart people? This is actually my second video that I'm making today. I wasn't planning on making it, but you're not going to see it until tomorrow anyways. So I don't know why I'm, why I'm telling you that. Anyways, you read the title. Today I got something for my graduation present. For those of you who might be new, I very recently graduated getting my bachelor's degree in physics with a minor in math. But my gift came in from my dad and my stepmom and I need to talk about it. But before I tell you what it is, I want to motivate why it's a special gift to me. If you've seen some of my lighter, more comedic videos, you might have noticed that I like to poke fun at uh, sort of generalizations about certain years of physics that you might be in. So, for example, I have a video on first year physics majors be like. And it's not so much making fun of physics majors as it is making fun of the physics major that I used to be when I was that year. So, for example, I was the one that thought string theory was the coolest, even though I was just, I think, taking my first calculus course. And anywhere I went, if I would go to, say, New Jersey with my mom to visit my grandparents, we'd have Cosmos playing in the background or something like that, some kind of podcast talking about space stuff. So, though I poke fun at uh, pop science stuff every now and then, that is what got me into physics. And now I'm ready to tell you what I got for my graduation present. I got... The Future of Humanity by Michio Kaku. And you might be thinking, Andrew, that's not special. That's just another pop science book. Well, it's also autographed by Michio Kaku. Just an extremely thoughtful gift in itself, considering he's the one, he's pretty much the reason that I got an interest in theoretical physics. You know, I'm not going to be pursuing string theory, but not too far off, right? I'm really interested in nuclear and particle theory, so it's like... You know, I, I couldn't really figure out how to say thank you in a, in a meaningful way. Which also made it even more difficult to say thank you when I got this book. Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. But wait. Autographed by Neil deGrasse Tyson. The man who is literally in the picture of my avatar for this YouTube channel. That's just, that's just crazy. Like I said, Michio Kaku was the one that got me interested in theoretical physics, and Neil deGrasse Tyson was the one that got me interested in figuring out how the hell to communicate what it was I was interested in, what it was I was learning to everyone else. You know, I think it's easy to sort of develop uh, a bit of an elitist complex when you start studying physics because people just tend to tell you that you're smart when you say that you do physics. And I didn't even graduate high school in honors. Okay, so it's not, it's not just something that only smart people can do. And there's a way to explain this stuff in a way that resonates with anyone. And Neil deGrasse Tyson was the one that um, pushed me to explore different ways of explaining things. And in doing so, I created this YouTube channel to show what studying physics is like. Um, so, you know, sort of, I'm a bit at a loss for words for all of this. And no matter how far I go in physics, I'll always be the one that started out by watching Cosmos and the Universe and Into the Universe with Stephen Hawking and all that popular science stuff. And on top of all of that, I get to edit this video that you're watching on the laptop that my sister and my mom got me for graduation as well. So thank you to my sister, my mom, my dad, and my stepmom. I appreciate everything that you guys do for me. Let me know in the comments section who got you into science. I'm looking forward to reading those responses, and I'll see you guys there.